you struggle with worry, lying asleep at night when you think what's happening in the world? In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, God says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. It's so easy to give up tight. A person said to me one day, I hope my finances will last at least one day longer than I do. Here we have the problem. Careful, full of care. Now God says here that we are to be careful for nothing. Now that doesn't mean that we're to be careless or we're to be haphazard with life. But the child of God is not to be over anxious. Not to be filled with, with anxiety and worry about anything. Somebody said, don't tell me not to worry or that it doesn't help. For when I worry about something, it usually doesn't happen. How many countless hours do we waste in our lives? Facing things that we never have to encounter. But you say to me, but they're real. The what ifs in life are, what if not, if only. And you struggle with those things. Now God's not suggesting here that believers are not to be concerned about the problems of life. But you see, there's a difference between concern and worry. Genuine concern, it drives us to arise and to tackle and to conquer the problem. But worry is a distraction. In actual fact, it causes more trouble and it solves nothing. Has your life been burdened down and overcome with that worry? Well, what did it solve? I thank God I can say that no matter what has happened in life, God has always been there for me, to care for me, to pick me up, to dust me down, and to encourage me to go on. Now, the, the Philippian believers had so much to be, humanly speaking, concerned about. They were facing persecution. There were those false teachers that had come in amongst them and caused trouble. They were struggling with the necessities of life, with food, with clothing, with shelter. But God is telling them not to worry about anything, but rather to pray about everything. Instead of being full of care, if you have a problem, tell it to God. Oh, there's so many people, and they're losing the joy and thrill of living today because they're worrying about tomorrow. Nothing means nothing, no thing, not even one thing. The Lord tells us how useless worry is in Matthew chapter 6. Which one of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit onto your stature? And the answer you know is, not one of us. So instead of lying and, and worrying and wrestling at night and getting depressed, what should I do? Well, God gives us the answer. Be careful for nothing but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication. And here we have the prayer, the problem, the prayer. If the problem's big and causes you concern, then it touches the heart of God. You know, there's nothing too big or nothing too small for God to deal with. Somebody asked the question, do I only bring the big things to God? And the preacher said, do you know anything that's big for God? D.L. Moody sums this verse up like this. Careful for nothing. Prayerful for everything and thankful for anything. Pray about everything and everything by prayer and supplication. Pour out your heart before God. Mean business with God. Bring your burden to the Lord and really leave it there. But pray with thanksgiving. Don't forget to thank him. Do you remember the ten lepers? There was only one came back to say, Lord, thank you. In everything, give thanks. Pray with expectation. It says, let your requests be made known unto God. In other words, be definite and be specific in your request. What, whatever that need is, whatever that thing is that's getting you down, tell God about it and bring that request before God. So many aim at nothing and they have nothing. Corey Ten Boom said, Look around and be distressed. Look inside and be depressed. Look to Jesus and be at rest. 
our friend, we have the problem. Care. Anxiety. Worry. We have the prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And then we have the peace and the peace of God. You know, God brings a peace whenever you come God's way. Walk God's path in obedience to him. Oh 